Greetings. This week I restructured my workspace along with upgrading my lighting system. It's something I wanted to do for quite a while, and it will give the channel a good bump up in quality. However, it has left very little time this week for me to develop a substantial project. And I didn't want to leave you guys without a video. So this week I'm working on a smaller project. I'm working on some barrels. Barrels are, in my mind, a staple of a 40k board, as they make for excellent scatter terrain, which helps make the world feel lived in. I've decided to go with a blue shipping drum style scheme, similar to this picture here. The paints I'll be using to achieve this scheme are as follows. The first step is spraying on our base coat. Similar to when priming your models, you want to apply the paint lightly. However, since we are doing scatter terrain, it's not the end of the world if a barrel gets a thick layer of paint. So I'll get these sprayed and come back when they're dry. Alright, so now we're ready to apply our white stripe to these barrels. Um, for scatter terrain. We don't have to be too particular on the details, so I'm going to use this, uh, a large brush about this size and we're just going to, you know, quickly add a white stripe. It also doesn't have to be perfect because you have, you have to remember we're going to um, add some dirt and uh, dry brush and washes. So um, if you're a little bit off, you know, if you hit the, the rims, I'm dividing the, the barrel it's probably not going to look too terrible. All right, so just like this, and we're just going to um, pull this across. Yep, nice and easy. Just like that. So I thinned down my paint quite a bit. So I'm definitely going to need to do two coats of this, but that's pretty much it for this step. So I'm going to do two coats of this on maybe about five or six of these barrels and then we'll come back for, <coughs> excuse me, I'll come back with the next step once I'm done. All right, so next we are doing the bronze coloring on, of, on the um, symbols and insignias on these drums. Now it's quite a, there's quite a few of them to do, but I think um, if you just do them quick and easy in an assembly line style, it's, it shouldn't take too long. I believe this valve is left uh, the drum color. I'm recalling from memory based off of how it's depicted in the GW uh, promotional artwork, but um, I think it looks pretty good with just these two. And I'm going to get the rest of these done and I'll come back after for the next step. Alright, so now we're ready to begin washing these barrels. Here I have a mix of Agrax Earthshade and Colia Greenshade um, in a 2 to 1 ratio. So we're just going to mix it up. And uh, we're going to begin applying this wash fairly generously um, on these barrels. Um, so we're going to apply this. Yeah, this is the kind of level you want. This other side is a bit too much. All right, so I want to bang out the rest of these and I'll come back when everything's all dry and finished. Now that the washes are fully dried on these barrels, we can begin the next step, which is to dry, do a light dry brush on the blue areas with uh, Lothurn Blue. So I'll hold the barrel by its side so that all the emblems are um, not facing forward. And I'll just begin to dry brush just like that and, and taking care not to hit the metallic areas 
and you can see it's adding some nice definition to those edges. For the white uh, rimmed barrels on the center component here, um, you would <clears throat> uh, that would be handled in the same manner, except we'd be going uh, following this kind of motion like this. Um, just along the surface, just to provide some tonal variety. I'm gonna get this step done and we'll come back for the final step. All right, so the last step is to um, add some dirt to the barrels using a piece of foam. I found this pretty unique sponge, so I'm gonna try this out and see, see how it uh, turns out. <clears throat> grab one of the regular barrels and I'm just going to try and see uh, it's definitely gonna be a less is more um, approach with regards to the application you're not gonna want too much oh, that's actually pretty interesting Pretty cool effects. Seems like we can get some pretty cool streaks um, by dragging the sponge across. Let's try another one with the, on our white barrels. It's a little bit of experimentation for me. Um, so we're just, we're doing it live. Um, I'm noticing I can kind of drag the, drag the paint around if there's too much, right? It's like, oh, I don't like how much is there. And we can kind of, you know, can't fully remove it, but we can uh, lessen the intensity, which is pretty neat. And I really like the, the result from this sponge. All right, I'm gonna continue on the rest of these. And I think that'll that's the last step, so we'll take a look at everything once it's done. And I think with that, that wraps up this one. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you wanna help this channel grow, you can subscribe for weekly videos. Thanks again for watching, and I'll hope to see you guys in the next one.